Good morning, class, and welcome to Ballistics University. This is our target for today, steel gong. We're going to shoot at it at 300 yards. Hitting it will be the easy part. The hard part is we're going to try to do a three-shooter simultaneous hit 300 yards. On April 8, 2009, four pirates attacked the MV Mersk, Alabama. It was the first time since the 19th century pirates had successfully hijacked a United States flag ship. Captain Richard Phillips was in control of the vessel. They had a safe room on board. He had a crew of 20 and 17,000 metric tons of cargo. 17 of the crew members went to the safe room. They could control the ship from there. Captain Phillips and a few other men met the pirates, offered resistance, but the pirates were overwhelming. Tried to take control of the ship, but were unable to maneuver it. So the Captain Phillips negotiated with the pirates to take him instead. The four pirates and the captain went in a rescue ship, a little lifeboat, and set off for the mainland. Their goal was to try to reach the mainland where they would hold the captain hostage and try to negotiate a ransom. On April 9th, the USS Bainbridge was on scene. It could, took control of the uh, Mersk, Alabama, and they successfully completed their trip to port. The Navy SEALs at that time were dispatched too. They practiced for a couple days for this type of shooting scenario, boarded an aircraft, parachuted out in the middle of the ocean, was picked up by another US boat, and brought to the Bainbridge. On April 10th, Captain Phillips tried to escape from the lifeboat. He was recaptured after the pirates shot at him while he was in the water. After three days, on April 12th, the pirates were seasick, they were tired, they were running out of fuel, and they weren't going to make it to the mainland. They negotiated with the Bainbridge and were taken into tow and were towed into calmer waters. They were tired of being seasick and tired of being in this boat. It was determined shortly later that the captain was in immediate danger after an AK-47 was pointed at him by one of the pirates. One of the, fourth, the four pirates went to the boat to negotiate for a release and for safe travel of the pirates. During that time, the command was given to rescue the captain. Three Navy SEALs on the fantail of that boat shot three shots simultaneously into the three pirate targets and rescued the captain. A near impossible shot. The Bainbridge was moving, the lifeboat was moving, the wind was blowing. Three shots simultaneously, three targets. We're going to try to reenact that today. I am the professor, and this is a Springfield Armory M1A match rifle. Fires 308 cartridge. This rifle was produced about 25 years ago. It has fired at Camp Perry in matches, and I am happy to say that it has hit a few rounds in the X-Ring at 1,000 yards. Hello, I am Ginger. Today I'll be firing the Rock River Arms 5.56. Hey, I'm a Luigi. What I'm shooting today is a Model 10 Savage Tactical sniper rifle. I'm using a 150 grain NATO round. Uh, it's designed for the sniper rifles. And I'm shooting a 6 by 18 by 50 with a scope on it have a little bit of an advantage over the other two guys. Shooter one's ready. Shooter three ready. Shooter three ready. On my count. Three, two, one. You might have had that. I think you got it. Point two three. Nice. And there you are, fans of Ballistic University. Three shots simultaneously on the target within a couple tenths of each other. Not bad for a bunch of guys that aren't Navy SEALs. Confucius said, the will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Shoot safely, my friends. Shoot often and strive for personal excellence, just as the Navy SEALs did.